Yo, welcome back my fellow pod enjoyers and today I'm going to show you a top 4 Nationals Cash Tira deck profile of one of the guys that goes to the same locals uh, as me. He was kind enough to give me the deck profile so let's jump into it and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so you'd like to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Lukas. I played Slovenian Nationals last Saturday and I got third place top 4. So which deck did you play? I played Kashtira. Uh, so best deck of the format? I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how was the day going? Uh, I was first after Swiss. We played seven rounds and I won everything. I played three times against uh, Labyrinth, one time against Super Harry Samurai, one time I, I played the mirror match, uh, two times against Sprite. Okay, okay. So for Kashtira itself, what do you think is your most threatening matchup? So what's the matchup you're most afraid of? Uh, most afraid I was of the mirror. The mirror itself? Yes, because if you are preparing a deck for the mirror, it's bad against every other deck. For example, Super Heavy Samurai, it's one of the strongest boards you can make in this format, in the old format. And it's hard to break it if you are playing main deck, all the books or all the enemy controller, tr uh, talent cards, etc. That's okay. good against cash, but not against them. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. must find an... So a good even ground yes. to play. Yeah. Okay, okay. So let's go into the deck profile <coughs> itself. I played three Unicron. The, st uh, the starter of the deck, it makes everything. Then Fenrir. Good going second, starter going second, breaks every board. One Scareclaw Castera helps to out Dragoon or any monster that's unaffected by activated effects because he's not an activated effect. Also pretty good against Baguska. Yes, <clears throat> the out against Baguska if you are uh, stopping a super heavy samurai player and he ends on Baguska, make him activated Teosis special. Battle phase bang, and on Zeus he cannot do anything. Then to Rasad, I wanted to play three, but I have not found the, uh, the space in the deck. Uh, no Ogre, because I thought it is too bricky. In many scenarios, it's nice to have him because he is the strongest. He has 2 8 attack with the field spell, he can nearly out everything by himself. But he doesn't start your combo. That's for the Kashtira monsters. Then for the hand traps, <clears throat> three ash. I was scared of Despia because they can gimmick puppet lock you. So I decided to play these three. It's good against super heavy samurai. You can uh, stop their soul piece, uh, piercer. So they must tribute their monster and go minus two. Three droll stops them by itself <clears throat> and is okay against Kashtira. 3D shifter, good against everything. Uh, that's for the hand traps, the monster hand traps. For the spells, for the mirror match, three Book of Moon and I decided it's good against Super Heavy Samurai. It's a one for one uh, it's a one for one trade if I'm going second and going first book the normal summon and they need the pendle scale to extend or they lose. Okay, so do you, pl you play this <coughs> over the Book of Eclipse? Yes, <clears throat> because Book of Eclipse is Ash able and if I cannot out their board, they will draw cards mm. and then the game is over. Um, I decided to play two talents. That was only the choice because I cut at the Ogre, which I played in a previous build. And there are uh, three uh, uh, rise up, but one talents looked weird, so I decided to cut the second, uh, the third one, and play only two. It was okay. It won me one game. It was okay in, I guess, two. It breaked me one game. So, if you want to cut something, this uh, to make the deck very constant, three pots, one terra farming. Three planet, the starter, 
free unity for the combo. It gives you back your banished cards. <coughs> the best card in the deck, Burst, if you have it in your hand and he outs your board with a Zeus, you can easily play next turn. The card that somehow dodged the ban list. Yes, if you, you don't need to ban or limit you, uh, Unicorn, this is the problem. Yeah, ban Birth, ban Birth. <laughs> That's the main, the, the biggest problem of the deck, that yeah. just with Birth they have everything again next turn. Yeah, because Zeus is one of the most frightening cards against Kashtira because it outs your whole board and you cannot do anything after it. The next 10 traps were 3 Imper, helps to break boards, it's the best hand trap in the game, and the brick. The one that you need, yeah. The <laughs> one that I need. So if you draw this and you go combo, what's, what do you banish with Ryza? Just follow up for next turn yeah, or do you have any I guess play? I, I guess I banished any time this or this so that I can play next turn. Okay. But okay. most of the time I made then a, a, a rise hard, set it, pass, because it can interrupt your yeah. opponent. It's an evil match. Yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. worst card in the deck. <laughs> For the extra deck, one Donner Dagger, it outs you if a monster, if he gave it to you, yeah. It's okay. So it's just your generic link to, yes. to get rid of anything you <clears throat> might yes. get on the field. And once I could out one of his monsters with it yeah. and then made a Zeus. That's okay because of Gamma. In the next format I would not play it anymore because there's no Gamma left. If I was scared of Gamma, I put it under my Arise heart and if he Gammas me, it stays alive and made no difference. He got two monsters, but my microcosmos was alive. This code was very good because many times my rice heart died and then I got him as a bot breaker next time. The draw was very good. To Zeus, because if you are playing the mirror match, he will rip your one. Yeah, you have to play too, yeah. And in the mirror match, I went second and first I made him a Zeus, cleared his board. Next time, uh, next turn he couldn't out it, and I made the second one and have another board wipe. Yeah, 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 just makes Zeus yeah. over Zeus. Yeah, that's a I classic play. Like, and then I killed him the next turn three times, I attacked with Zeus. This is very interesting because it can out you any floodgate and skill drain. I played many times, three times against uh, Labyrinth, and they skill drained me. Then I made this and popped his kill drain under it. That's the only reason it's in the deck. Okay. Because this card would be better at two. Yeah, that's the that's the one thing that we use to outboards normally. Yes. <clears throat> and it can put you the follow-up, you banish a Theosis, get something back. And the nice the nicest thing at it, I once I shifted my opponent, then I made him and banished my shifter. So you can shift her once again. Yeah. Yeah. With him, I shifted the team three turns in a row. <laughs> he had no interruptions, so that was game. And to big eye, I don't understand why people would play it at one. It's one of the best cards. It's not once per turn. You can make two of them take your opponent's monsters. So, so even with Mind Hacker out of the format, you would probably <clears throat> yes. still play two. It's one of the best. It, I would play to Zeus either because it came up very often that I made Zeus over Zeus. Yeah, yeah, and this deck, especially with now one Arise Hut, has so much extra deck space. That... Yes. I only played two Arise Hut. I, in most games, I only made one. And in such grindy games, grindy games, which I would have made more than one or two. Why should I make them? It's most times the mirror match and then they take it and it's there. Once uh, my opponents made a rise hut against me and I big eyed him, then it was my mind, uh, a rise hut. Okay, so 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 with the one rise hut now, is there any problem for the deck? The only problem is that you cannot make the end board as easily. If you make him as an end board and they out it, you have no second one. In most cases, it doesn't matter, but 
with a kaiju, you want to make a second one to make pressure on your opponent and not only end on Fenrir or something. It's so that most opponent must play around the second one and so they don't need to. That's that's the reason why why it's bad that it's at one. And two Shangri-Ra. So you decided to play two, probably yes. also for the mirror match, because I've yeah, seen oh, most only, lists have cut this to one. Yeah, only for the mirror match, because if I want to go for the combo, I ever made this, made Mind Hacker, put a Rise Heart over it. That's the only thing I used it. And once against uh, Labyrinth, I specialed it, and with the field spell, I popped his whole back row in two turns. Okay, okay. Did, did you ever go for like the, the, the full five zone lock against any no, of those? No, I'm not guys? stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get nipped or something because if I made the zone lock, he waits with the nip, and then I can I can say next game. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And if he has monster outs to your board, the, yeah. the five zone lock doesn't do anything. You need follow up. Yeah. It's not a deck you kill him with your first turn combo like. Super Hero Samurai, and the best card in the deck. The Mind Hacker. <laughs> yeah, it's a pity that it's on the ban list now. Uh, he rips my opponent the whole deck. Most time I made him, battled, banished him cards, then made Zeus over it. Yeah, yeah. And without many cards in the extra deck, he cannot do anything. Or if once I banished my opponent 20 cards from his main deck, that was over. Yeah, it's sad that this card, like, does that for the deck and also the unfair part which is i have to play everything that i need in my extra deck at two yes just because of him so it's a it's a pity that he does both like he's the one that banishes and he's the one that rips from yeah. extra deck can konami print two more one for each <laughs> yeah. yeah give us diabolus the the body hacker that just banishes yes just banish no problem i don't i only need to kill my opponent's main deck yeah the rest isn't so important yeah and i don't want to lose strike a dragon every game <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's one of the most important part of the main deck but i don't see to play it twice because if i resolve him the main deck is at 15 cards and i cannot resolve him twice and in a mirror match nobody will rip him over uh, over over zeus but big eye, or uh, rice heart, nobody. That makes no sense. And in the, the best time I resolved in at Saturday was against the Super Hero Samurai player. He got first place, by the way. I played against him in round six. I made him in the game, in the second game, ripped him Zeus. Then I passed with Shangri Shangri and him. He captured me, wanted to search, got a roll, went for, wanted to go for Zeus, but he only played one and forgot that I ripped him. Okay. So he passed so with, he just with Sagas. lost the game on that, yeah. He passed with Sagas and my I top deck Burst special back Fenrir killed him. That was unlucky for him. Yeah. For the side deck, <clears throat> I played three. Enemy controller, uh, good against Kashtira, okay against Sprite, not good against the rest. Yeah, maybe yeah, it can be, man, like, uh, this outs the puppet block. Yeah, outs, you are still under the under the restriction, but the monster is away. Yeah, the monster is gone, yeah, it outs everything that gives you, like, like Sprite giving you an yeah. Ibli or something. That was the only thing I wanted to play it, but yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, it's not that, that but, good but of a card, needed. yeah, but it's needed, yeah. yeah. One very good card, Habia, uh, the Habis. Yeah, I, I thought I would play Lightning Storms, but then I decided to play two Lava Golem instead, mm -hmm. because I thought Pearly would be better and Super Heavy Samurai. It's also good against Cash and Lightning Storm. They summon it in death and yeah, what should I kill? Anything, yeah. It only kills his back row, but yeah. I think it was wrong because I played three times against Labyrinth and only yeah. one time <laughs> against Super Heavy Samurai. So there were very interesting games to get them. <laughs> yeah. 
they were I only drew, uh, drew it two times, once against Labyrinth and I captured his uh, I Labyrinth his two monsters and then I could out this card because the other ones I couldn't target and once against the Super Heavy Samurai player but he breaked in this game and so I could kill him without it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and against Backrow decks and especially against Kestria. A Kestria player cannot out this. He only ends with one card. He must decide if he wants to keep his Arise card or one of his book cards, enemy controllers, etc. And so it's a very good card. It trades for your battle phase nearly the whole board of a Kestria player. Yeah, yeah, probably also good against Labyrinth. Yes. Could be good against Sprite if they don't end on Carrot. Yes, against Sprite, it's about you kill his back row, that's the most important reason. But against Sprite, uh, uh, Lightning Song would be better. Then for then three Ghost Bell against uh, Labyrinth, against the puppet lock and against uh, the the math mech, the math mech Yeah, trap. against the math mech trap. Yeah. Because if they resolve the math mech trap, it deals with three cards. They will pop you one monster, one spell. You need to negate your the next card, and only the next can out his board. But yeah, yeah. If the trap resolves, you probably over. lost the game. Yeah. It's over, so I needed it, and I thought it would be okay if somebody tries to play runic in the first rounds but shifter would be would be enough for yeah them. shifter deals with runic back so. but it's okay because you need to side something out it was very good <laughs> it's worst case it's a hand shot that yes. occasionally does something yes and then against super heavy samurai i played three summon limit because you only need to special fenrir activate this handshake yeah or make most times I made a Shangri-La special defender and then passed because the next time, next turn I summon Unicorn, made this, it's probably over. Yeah, yeah. Summon Limit feels like such a sleeper card in this format. Yes. It's so good, especially because people don't expect it and don't play around it. Yes, and especially you can play it in the mirror match. You can cite it if, they, if you know your opponent can choose if you're going first or second. I cited it in because I knew he would send me first. So he had no out against it and then he loses. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's also good if they kaiju you because yes. they waste the summon and then they don't have anything else. Yes, but in the mirror match, if I can decide, I would go second. So you will always go second? Yes, in the I, I always said this in. Yeah, yeah, the, how many going second cards you end on? Like 16, 17 around? 17 there? in the main deck. And always I cited the brick out. <laughs> I cited one of the bricks, the brick out. Sometimes I cited this against Super Heavy Samurai because I need space in most of the times. One of these is one card I most cited out. Okay, so half of your deck basically is for going second. Yes. <clears throat> I, I think I bricked three game one because of that, yeah. but if you have enough going second cards, you can out, you can stop him from killing you. And most times I drew a Fenrir or a Unicorn or the field spell. Yeah, that's a good thing. If you break with five going second cards, your opponent also basically breaks because he will not play around yes. that. Yes. And the worst card against Super Heavy, uh, against the mirror match was this. The droll. Yeah, I, 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 I also realized Ex that yeah. if you're under Shifter, you can't draw them. Yeah. Or Shifter is worse, but if he goes first because he doesn't know that we are playing the mirror match, and you draw him, you play in every of his tactical cards. Yeah. Once he activated it and shuffled my pot away, then I had no ancient and must pass the next turn. Yeah. That's basically for the deck. Top four I played against uh, the Vanished Soul deck. It was very interesting because I had no plan what I was playing against them in the top eight. But it was a miracle I won against it. And in top four I played the mirror, 
lost the game one and then the judge gave me a game lose because he said some of my cards were marked were too much banned, especially the imperms and the enemy controllers. I disagreed, but okay, it was yeah, yeah. top four. They don't really look like, but it's top four like that's yeah. that's good. That's your your the the best result you ever yes. got at the tournament. Yes, it was at that side. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Do you have any shoutouts or anything you want to say? Uh, I want to thank you the whole people at my locals because I had much cards of them and they had to practice for the uh, for the event. All right. Thank you very much.